What's going on, everyone? My name is Matt Jarbo. This is Three Buck Theater, and today Disney unveiled a new animated take on Star Wars. And no, it's not another TV show like Resistance, which, by the way, is getting very good. And I, I need to get my reviews out for that on Three Buck Theater or on Three Buck Reviews. I've been I've been pretty lazy. But this new trailer showcases a series called Star Wars Galaxy of Adventures, which is a, a bunch of short films that are aimed at reimagining the original trilogy. And and they, they released the trailer today, uh, which I just feel is kind of iffy. In regards to its animation, I mean, YouTube uh, or Star Wars Resistance is it looks OK. It takes a little bit to get into it. This just looks yeah, like kind of lazier, more of an anime take on things. And that's just not 100 percent what I'm into. I mean, Chewie looks pretty cool. Han looks like someone poorly drew him. Uh, you know, it, Yoda looks dope, I guess. Uh, Vader looks great as usual, but again, it's super anime inspired. I mean, anime Luke with his anime eyes is going to make anime girls go anime crazy. Uh, but, but then Leia here, uh, getting into some serious hardcore action as we're going to see in this trailer, but, uh, you know, they're just, <laughs> look at that right there. She's, she's fighting stormtroopers, right? She's, she's directing people, uh, on the, uh, on the, on the, on the Corellian craft, uh, that did the thing. Anyway, that's, that's just the teaser for that. And I just, I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I I don't really care for it, to be honest with you. I didn't play with any sounds. I won't get any copyright claims. Um, but all it does is take audio from the original movie and then just uh, uh, add that over it, right? It's just, it's just reanimating certain scenes from the movie using the audio and the sound effects and then uh, adding in anime, which it, trust me when I say like there's a scene where, where an Obi-Wan hands uh, Anakin's lightsaber to Luke on an, in A New Hope uh, and Luke turns it on. Like you see, you go like, bro you know, in the thing. Um, but you're like, the audio is like, so it, it, it doesn't match. It does. There's no, there's no real vibe there. There's no real feeling there. Well, it just, it just seems so lame to me. And I, and I just, I can't do the animated, the, 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 the true anime. It, it just, it bothers me and whatnot, because this is, this is where we are right now with, with Disney galaxy of adventures is obviously meant for kids. It's going to release six shorts, uh, on Friday, right? They're releasing six short films. I don't know how long they are. I don't know if it's one short film per movie, which is kind of what I think is going to be. It's just going to be one short per film. Um, and then it does appear like there are going to be more on the way. And part of me is wondering if it's going to be something along, along the lines of, uh, star, uh, was it star Wars detours, which was more of a comedic take on the franchise, uh, with the little short films coming from the guys behind robot chicken. So I don't know if that's going to be the case, but I look at, I look at this whole thing and if you look at the star Wars animated shows right now, right? I mean, you've got like the clone wars, um, uh, that the short film one from cartoon network, the guy who did samurai Jack, I forget his name right now that had a distinct animation style and it was really good, right? Then you've got clone wars, the animated series, which started off kind of clunky, but then got better over time over its seasons. Then you go to rebels and rebels looks really solid. You get to resistance. It's a whole different style, but I, I like it. I think it's, it's just, it, I just have no issue with it. I like the characters. I like the show quite a bit. This just looks like standard, anime right and and here's a problem with that those of you out there who like anime you're gonna be like no but anime is great mm, okay fine that's your opinion on that cool right i just I, <laughs> go back to what what happened with uh with 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 marvel right after disney bought them right disney having all of this animation studio all of these animation houses all of this talent outsourced legitimately outsourced marvel to anime studios in japan Right. There's an anime movie out there. It's like the Black Widow and the Punisher Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. It's just, oh, my God, it's so terrible. It's so terrible looking. They've done other shows where it, the animation is crap, uh, you know, low, just low quality crap that they've done with Marvel. They've done a little bit better now with some of their other shows uh, for Disney XD. But they just they 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 like to outsource this crap to other studios rather than using what they have in house. There's I don't understand why, just in general, why there's not a distinct animation styling across the board. DC's done that for over 20 years, right? Over 25 years they've done that. Started with Batman, uh, the animated series, Superman, the animated series, uh, a lot of the animated movies, Batman Beyond, all that shit. Generally kept a lot of the same visual stylings. It kept parody across the board. And you know what? They've been extremely popular. They've been extremely popular. Yeah, there's been some tweaks along the way. Some things have been different than others. But for the most part, it's kind of kept with the same kind of quality. 
this is like the only big difference there is that what Batman uh, Dark Knight or whatever it was, or that 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 one DVD Blu-ray they released that had the six short films that were all done by different anime producers, right? Just different reimaginings of Batman. And it was just, it was so bad. It was, oh, Gotham Knight. It was Gotham Knight. It was so terrible. They did the same thing with Halo, the master, uh, on the Master Chief thing. Um, they, they did the, or Halo Legends or Halo Legacy, whatever the hell it was. I think it was Halo Legends did it. And it was just so terrible. Stop reimagining everything in anime. Anime, it's like, no, on, from, uh, it just, oh, it's not, oh, I just, I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. Most anime is crap. It is. It's really crap. It might have a good story. The animation is crap. All right. I just don't freaking like it. You know, there are some things I can take. Resistance works okay. Full Metal Alchemist was okay. The artwork of freaking uh, Cowboy Bebop is pretty good. There's a lot there that's okay. I just, I can't do, I can't do it. I just can't, I can't do it because also it's so exaggerated. It's so over the top. People don't want that shit. Just tell good stories. This, this thing I get, look, I get what they're doing this, right? But it's like, even look at like the, the new Marvel uh, animated shows with like squirrel girl and like, you know, it's just, it's like lazy animation and here they just outsource to a Japanese studio. Yeah. Go ahead and just take star Wars audio and put it on, you know, put it on, uh, this, this thing we will do these short films. And it's, I know it's for kids, but like, you know, fans don't tell the difference and it's just a dumb marketing thing. You know, I would rather them invest time into telling good stories and into new characters instead of just it, always going back to the well, you know what I mean? Don't always go back to the well, uh, take it a step further take it to the point of where it's like, yeah, this is okay. Like this is, this is telling new stories like, you know, like rebels and, and resistance, even, uh, different animation styles is, I guess, fine. Right. Provided there's good characters and stories to back it up. But I just, uh, anime just drives me with the damn wall. Look, here's the thing. I'm in my mid thirties, so I didn't grow up watching it. So there's where we're going to have a difference there. Toonami wasn't my, my Bible when I was a kid. I didn't care for any of that crap. Uh, anyway, this doesn't look very good. I kind of got upset talking about it, but I want to know your thoughts on this one. They should be interesting. Uh, leave them below. My name is, of course, Matt Jarbo. This has been Three Book Theater. Uh, comment or call into our voicemail line at 818-350-3281. That's 818-350-3281. And uh, please, please thumbs up the video and subscribe if you're new. I'll talk to you all later. Have yourself a great day and peace out.